What is up guys? Welcome to day one of 30 iPhone SDK programming tutorials. Um, today I'll be covering how to make um, methods that have parameters. So this is really useful, especially um, it's a must-have tool for when you're writing programs and you don't want to repeat yourself. So this just is a way of kind of easily um, making methods that take in parameters and automatically run code for you instead of you having to copy and paste a bunch of code. So I'm just going to get right into it. Uh, go ahead and open up Xcode. We're going to start a new project. Um, go ahead and make a single view application. I'm going to call this method uh, with parameters. You can call it whatever you want. Um, I have used storyboards checked off because I don't like using that and for all these tutorials through the whole 30 days it'll be like that so just to keep it consistent. Um, then hit next, create and it should set up the project for you. Now here you'll have some files you're going to want to go into the viewcontroller.m. So to start this off, um, here we can get rid of this, we don't need this. Uh, I'm just going to show you an example situation of where you would probably want to use this. So we're going to start off with a UI image view. Um, we're going to call it image view one because we're going to want to make um, a few of these. So UI image view lock and then uh, init with image a UI image um, shoot UI image why can't I type UI image Usually it autocorrects, but yeah, okay, there you go. Um, image named. Now we're going to add an image. I have one on my desktop, um, just called image.png. And you're going to want to close out those brackets. I'm going to copy that in now. So here it is. I'm just going to drag that into my Xcode. Um, I'm going to hit copy and finish. You can do whatever image you want, it doesn't really matter. Um, so first we're going to do uh, image. This is just it really doesn't matter, I'm just trying to show you guys an example. So we're just going to set the center, um, CG point make, um, and then we can set an X. I'm just going to put it in the middle of the screen. So that would be the X and Y dimensions um, in half. So since it's uh, 320, we're going to do uh, 160. And then since the height is 480, we're going to do 240 for the um, height. So that's the X and the Y values. And then here we're going to do image view. Uh, I'm going to set alpha and we're just going to set one so that'll be there'll be no opacity It'll just be a full clear image um, Then we're going to do image view set tag now I'm going to do another tutorial on tag so you don't really need to worry about that We're just going to set it to 101. It doesn't actually change anything in terms of the looks But that's just another parameter we can have in our final thing um, UI image view or image view of one. Uh, let's just set uh, What else can we set set the background color? because there's some transparency in my image, so we'll be able to see this. Uh, you are color, I'll just say red color. Now we have that set up. Now what we finally want to do, uh, self.view, add subview, and we're going to want to add the image view we just created to the application. Now if we run this, we should just see our image um, with all these settings put in, and it should just be in the center of the application. Okay, and here we have the image, just like we set it right in the center of the screen, um, and that's exactly what we expected. So now let's say we wanted to add um, another UI image. Let's say we wanted to do five as a extreme example. So obviously when we want to do this, we would change all of these to image view two or something, just a different name, um, so that these errors get away. And let's say we wanted to change some of these values, so we want to change this to that, maybe this to 50. Um, put it there, change the tag to something, uh, maybe blue color. So if we wanted to do this, we would have to change all these individual settings for all of these, and we would have a huge amount of code. So this is, even though the exact numbers may be different, a lot of this is the exact same code. And that's something you really want to avoid when you're trying to make programs optimized for something like the iPhone and any program, really. You don't want to waste code. So this is what you would call wasted code. It's all basically the same thing and you're only changing minor things. You know, the great thing about um, void methods or any methods really, uh, they can take in parameters. Now I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so we can delete all this and we're just going to cut this out of here and we're going to put it in its own method. So go down here and make a void. Um, let's just say new image view for now. We're going to change that. but. 
Okay, so here we're just gonna have, uh, we can take out the ones because it won't make sense to call it one if we're gonna be using this for all of our images. Now, I'm, I'll explain that a little later, but for now, let's just say, um, now we're gonna write in the parameters to the method. So, new image view with, now basically what you wanna put in here is all these different values that you wanna be able to change. So, if you wanna change, um, let's say the 160 values to something else. So we're just gonna say x coord, so the x coordinate, um, and because that's an int value, we'll make it an int, and we'll just call it x. And then we can do with y coord. Now you, you can make this whatever makes it easier for you to remember. So I'm just doing it because with x coord and with y coord, that should make sense to me. Um, you can really do whatever you want. Now we can also do something like with alpha, and we can do a float value, and we can just call that, um, we can call that uh, primitive, whatever we want. I'll just call it alpha, alpha. and then we can do with tag. Um, we can do int, because that's an int, and then um, a tag. Uh, whatever you want, really. Um, oh, we can also add with color, just to change the color, just to spice it up. We can do UI color. Now, this is a little different. You'll actually have, because it's not a primitive, um, ints and floats, those are primitives. UI color, that's actually an object, so we're going to have to have that little asterisk there. Um, so we're going to have that now. What you want to do is go into here and change all of these to the variables that you set them to. So because we set this variable as x and this one as y, we'll have x and y. This one we called alpha, so we'll have the alpha down here. This one we called a tag, so we're going to do a tag here. And for this UI color, we're just going to put in color. And now when you go back up here, we're just going to do self new image and see when you start typing this method you can automatically see it automatically pipe, pipe pops up with everything and all the parameters we set so you can just go in here with x coordinate let's do exactly what we did the first time so it was 160 and 240 with the alpha it was one um, tag it, something like that uh, and we had a red UI color UI color red color and now if we build and run we should get the exact same thing that we had the first time and there you go, same thing, nothing changed. Now, let's see, instead of uh, doing just that, we'll add in five more. So, if you remember the first time when we had five different methods, it was basically five of these. We just cut down the code from taking up this entire page to just taking up these two sections. So now we can do whatever we want again. Um, let's just add in some random values into here, uh, anything, you can just see how much easier it is to change everything instead of going through all of this. And the thing about this is it's reusable. So that's another really important thing you want to do when you're programming. You want to have reusable code that you can use um, multiple times without needing to change much of it and without it being a hassle to change it. So uh, we'll just do this here. Um, we're going to forget the last two because I don't want to waste your time changing them again. But you get the basic, basic idea. So now when we run this, all it's doing is calling th these methods, it's just calling this and inserting parameters and then running this code. So you can see the result that we have here. Um, all our images exactly as we described from the code in here. And that's basically all there is to it. Now, remember you can do whatever you want with this. Um, we can even do, if you wanted to do custom images, you could just, all you had to do is add on to the end of this um, with image name and you could add uh, an s string string um, and image name I spelled that wrong image name and you could uh, let me do that little lowercase and you could put that in here and then all you would have to do is go he here uh, with image name and it automatically pops up and image.png. So you can add in as many parameters as you want. You can make a huge list of parameters, doesn't matter, whatever you want, whatever you want to do, that's fine. Um, and basically, this is just a really helpful thing uh, when you're programming because you don't want to, there's just so many advantages to doing this. So um, basically, there's a lot of freedom in how you use this, but that's just a basic tutorial that I thought I should get over with in the first um, round. So hopefully this was helpful to you. Uh, and thanks for watching. The source code for this project, as well as the code for all my other iPhone SDK tutorials, can be found on xcode.iminicrispy.com.